It's not often that a fall softball game is the talk of the town, but here in Albertville, the Sand Mountain Showdown proved to be an exception. Fans have waited for a while to see this matchup between Jacksonville State and Alabama, and they got their money's worth. Even hours before the action, fans were lined up outside the gates waiting for their favorite teams to arrive. Four area players were in uniform tonight for Alabama. UNA transfer and Danville native Emma Broadfoot and Hartzell's Larissa Pruitt, the 2022 Alabama Gatorade Player of the Year. And for JSU, Huntsville's Morgan Nowakowski and Fort Payne's Hannah Buffington. Once the game got started, there wasn't a whole lot to talk about for the first three innings, but from the fourth inning on, it was a battle. In the bottom of the fourth, the Tide put up a three spot with a couple singles and a fielder's choice, but that three-run lead was cut to two when JSU's Holly Stewart launched a two-run homer to center. But Bama would get some separation in the bottom of the frame when Lauren Esman launches one to center and it bangs off the fence, plating two for the Tide as she pulls in at third. That would make it a 5-2 game, but even that lead wasn't safe. The Gamecocks came out swinging in the top of the sixth, scoring four runs to give them a 6-5 lead, but no lead was safe tonight. In the bottom of the sixth, Jordan Stevens lines one out to center, but the ball pops out of the glove and Abby Dutcher is on her horse, sliding in safely to tie the game at six, and that's how this one would end. The first Sand Mountain showdown was definitely a fight, and Crimson Tide head coach Patrick Murphy says it was a really fun game and feels like this is one his team will learn from. Well, we just, you know, I think a couple too many freebies. We swung at some not so good pitches offensively. You know, I thought we had a little bit of momentum and we let them back in. And I know, you know, Jan and JSU, they're going to have a really good year. She's a great coach and they're always there in the end. So this is like a spring game that we got to play in the fall, which is a big bonus for us, you know, because competition in the fall, you know, if you can find it, you better take advantage of it. And, you know, we're going to learn a lot more from this game than we would if we would have beat somebody 10 to nothing. So after the long wait, the first Sand Mountain Showdown is officially in the books. And just like everyone predicted, it ended in a tie. Reporting in Albertville, Max Cohan, Way 31 Sports.